Hey everyone, Gen Virtuality here, and we are back again with Pascal's Wager. Um, things got quite um, intense in the last episode. Uh, as such, our group of four is now reduced to a group of two. But we'll get to a little bit of that later. Um, Right now, like I said, I'm sort of taking a break between our next sort of objective uh, because I'm sort of on a quest to get good, or at least maybe get better. Uh, so we'll hit the altar just to sort of show uh, whenever I come across some uh, of the... Amundus material, uh, I obviously put it to good use. I don't think there's been much that I've gotten since the last episode, so I think everything's pretty much as you see it here. Um, but the trophies, so we did equip the Basilisk Epithy. Um, I did put on a third um, stat on it, and it thankfully gave me the attack, plus 43 there, so that's pretty awesome and then we upped it to level four i think there's five levels and while i can get it to level five um we'll just stick with that for now until i know what our sort of end loadout will eventually look like uh i so i've went across the board and i've sort of upgraded a bunch of stuff a little bit uh sort of past of where it was uh i think oh i think i replaced the uh I can't remember if I put on the Scarlet Egg before or not. Uh, right, in Power of the Church. Uh, the only reason I'm keeping it, it doesn't have any yellow text in order to give us any further enhancements, but I do like the, the Health plus 90 and the Shadow Resistance it has. Uh, and I just don't seem to have anything that uh, certain things... I'll take a quick look here, but uh, yeah, Sanity plus 5 doesn't really... <laughs> warrant that much. Uh, able to resist Martian Poison Mist. Uh, yeah, only in that one level. And now that we've sort of unlocked shortcuts, it uh, <laughs> doesn't really matter. So, yeah, at some point we may get something that we'll sort of trade that one out. But for now, we'll just sort of stick with. Uh, I don't think we've upgraded the altar all that much, uh, it is holding at level 30. So, uh, because any of the bone fragments that I've been sort of accumulating, uh, as well as the big bones and whatnot, uh, I've more or less been saving them for the shops so that I can buy materials and whatnot whenever I come across another Sifflet. Uh, but since we're on a little bit of a, of a quest of our own doing here. Uh, let's, let's, I believe we want to go to T because it, there's a quest in there that I want to sort of see if we can get done. Uh, and we'll take Benita because she's the only one available. Uh, so here we are, Katib. Uh, so we don't need to go that way. <clears throat> uh, we're just going to head up here and speak with our friend, the Grave Digger. Those who chase after obsession can end the conspiracy of light and darkness only when buried in the ground. Don't say. Uh, so, all right, well, I've never done this before, so let's see what happens if we can fill the Milos bottle. And 30 in the Rosium bones. Do you want to proceed? Do I have all that? Mediocrities are always obsessed with getting ahead.
Lumi Meteor Spot. Alright. Do I have to fill it more? Those who chase after obsession can end the conspiracy of light and darkness only when buried in. I have a feeling that this won't allow me here. Insufficient material! Come back when you have more anthrosium bones, and we're getting to sort of near, um, <laughs> near Norwood, um, levels of needing like 60 or so. Uh, let's offer Starry Honey Wine, because I know I have that. Oh, that's what that does. Uh, what if I don't want to? <laughs> what if I don't want to? Reset character attributes. Can I have a way to back out of this? Ah, thank you. <laughs> no, I kind of like where everything is at. Okay, so I need condensation, con condensation honey and 60 bones. I know I don't have the materials for it, so let's just leave. At least we got the next level. I don't know how many levels there will be to fill this bottle. So, uh, so like I was saying before, okay, so we can actually see some of our stuff. And the question is, uh, well, there's our Anthronosium bones. We have 14, so only another several to go. Is that 46? We do have condensation honey. Okay, so at least we don't have to worry about that. We just need the anthrosium bones. Is there an easier way of getting anthrosium bones? That's the thing. Uh, you know what? All right, whatever. Uh, there is another thing that we wanted to try, as long as we don't get lost here, and I think we already are. Let's head back up. We want to get. We want to get back to the beginning of the level. Because uh, there's another thing I want to try. So we'll just shoot past this bell. Let's go into the dark. And we will proceed into the mess cave. Uh, we don't need to go there. Uh, choose party. Okay. All right, well, at least it gives us our choice of companions, even though the main story <laughs> tells us otherwise. Uh, so let's... We're good with these two for now. Um, there's going into here, and it says you must, you know, sort of have your own light. So let's talk with... Oh, what can I do for you, Lost Korea? Okay, so the light and the oil to burn the lantern as was sold by Glenn, <laughs> none other than. Uh, increase brightness of the mist lamp. Uh, requires whale oil, rancid, I know I have the rancid. A hundred spectre mushrooms? Yep. Oh, what can I do for you? Uh, so select dark mist. A lamp will light your path. Now you may enter the dark mist, but be aware, as you light up the darkness, it will be easier for the things lurking there to see you. Okay, sure. I knew you were itching to get on with it. Enjoy, my friend. I will enjoy. Thank you. Alright, so apparently we can go into the dark mist. Now what this will entail, I have no idea. But, hey. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, deep into the dark mist, your sanity grades with the dark mist only through constant battle, which deepens your obsession. Can you maintain it? When your obsession hits the threshold, terror obsession in invites you. Some say treasure awaits those who beat it, but few have. Courier, do not lose your way. Uh, okay. Sure. for a battle anyway. Can we sneak up on again? Alright. Uh, and this is where you get the specter mushrooms. Got it. I kind of figured as much. And that's what I was referring to parrying. So trying to get that down pat, or at least a little bit better at blocking and not being such a such a dunce when it comes to battle. More Spectre Mushrooms! Well, these guys aren't so tough. Not yet, anyway. I'm sure as I increase my light, they'll either become more numerous or... More numerous or... Well, let's go this way first. Uh, or... Um, harder to defeat in battle. up here, so better check it out. Whatever reason, so let's just get on with it. And what might this be? Drink. Okay, I drank. What now? Do I just go back? I can, it's right there. You can only explore deeper. Right. I thought I explored everywhere I needed to go.
Uh, do I really want to face the Terror Obsession? Uh, not yet. <laughs> Let me get this first. Uh, open the chest. Oh, that's a nice... Sure! Session. Oh, I see. Maybe it makes you go for forward a bit more. Uh, supply health potions, call supply companion available for combat. Get specter mushrooms. I might actually be able to increase my light level. Okay, so where is uh, thickness to head? Continue exploring. Hey guys, uh, we're just going to shoot through some of these battles as sort of like a highlight reel. We'll concentrate more on the uh, horror obsessions or the bosses that's found in the dark mist here. Um, pretty standard stuff. You just battle enemies until their meter rises and you gain entry to it. Um, and yeah, this is all you get. Just me. No music. I could have used, like, oh, I don't know, the final countdown. But, you know, it's licensed music, so I can't. You know what? Here. Do, 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 do. There. Now you have the song stuck in your head like I have for the last three weeks while I was looking forward to this little segment. Bye. Nope. 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 Sweet. <coughs> I guess not. Ooh. Oh, 
goes. Uh, all right, well, that was that. Let's pick up his stuff here. Where's the eye? Actually leave. No, oh, it just leaves him. Okay. Uh, 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 we're gonna we're gonna get more mushrooms. We have enough healing to go to go around. But really, I'm just gonna have to carry on. All right. Getting close to another obsession terror battle. Just need to find another person. Yes, and yep, let's do it. except for the mushrooms. So I guess we're going all the way. I figured that would do it. So let's enter Session terror again. Oh, now we have Jenny. <laughs> that was unfair. Fight like a person. Ooh. I don't know whether my character is just that that badass now that I've leveled him up as much as I have, or if, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh, drink, thank you, uh, or if the enemies are just that weak. Regardless,
There's our final crystal. Can we go home now, please? Uh, well, it's green rather than red. Right? Fantastic Hello, gift everyone. from the Dark Mist Obsession. Uh, okay, sure. Give it to me. Spectre of Mushroom 100. Okay. It's been completely dispersed, and you are finally find a path back to the mist camp. Yes! Ah, so that was the that was the dark mist. Okay, interesting. I guess it's good for sort of getting stuff. Oh, what can I do for you, lost uh, Let's player? increase the brightness. Hand over materials. We have enough. We know. Flickering mist lamp. Uh, so what are you gonna require oh, next? What can I do? Uh, thickened whale over. Oh, ugh, oil and 200 specter mushrooms and I'm sure we have that but maybe we should just sort of hold off since now I know what this is I can sort of gradually go through it without sort of making everything sort of more overpowered oh, what can I do for uh, you, select the dark, dark mist I'm just wondering ah okay so you got border interior oh, and then Nothing. Uh, and then what do you have? Okay, so do you and you sell in mushrooms? Uh, let's see further in the dark mist. Five minutes or, or washed ashore. Blah blah blah. Big Bones and Crystal Memorial Treasury. Alright, we're gonna say that for now. What can I do for you, Lost Courier? Alright, well, that was interesting. To say the least. Uh, and I hope that it uh, it offers more in terms of uh, finding uh, things to level up characters with, because I think that's the one thing that's sort of lacking. Like I said, it only seems like I have enough to do one and a half characters fully, uh, not the full four or five that you'll come across. Hey everyone, so we've returned back to Blessed Land um, just to sort of show you uh, sort of what I've been tackling over the last couple of days. Uh, so let's go into our inventory and I did make one sort of, I guess, eye-opening experience in terms of what trophies I equipped. Uh, I have equipped the gloomy Milos bottle uh, and that effectively puts us into an abnormal state um, routinely so like you get the wavy lines in the side of the screen and whatnot so yes I'm abnormal now even though my abnormal bar is pretty much full but what it does and let's go into the menus yet again It gives me Anthrosium Bones, or at least um, a very high chance of accumulating some uh, when defeating enemies in battle. So this has been sort of a big help in terms of getting those. And there are also uh, other benefits, I guess, for being in a abnormal state. So we are basically running a routine here where we are continually abnormal, we'll defeat enemies. Uh, even if I go into full-on lunacy, I'll fight that battle because it 
does also provide its own unique rewards. So there you go, Anthrosium Bones right from the get-go. Plus I can pick up whatever other items that the, uh, that the enemies drop, because they'll be useful as well. So we're at a state where we can visit the Grave Digger yet again. I'm taking on all these fights because uh, it also is helping me sort of get accustomed to the battling system. And things haven't been overly difficult. Uh, I'll even tackle on this big guy. Uh, sometimes I may have to use a health potion, which is fine. I don't know if I can actually... I don't have any rage yet, so I can't do a rising slash. I'll do it now. And that'll take a minute. Uh, but yes, there's a, a sort of a, um, a path I can go, and it'll just sort of loop around. I'll get back to the altar, reset the enemies, and I go for it again. So, can't fault it for that. So, also to go through this, the uh, Siffler that we pass on the way, uh, we can get another item from him, and that'll be the last one that I think we need before like, we can go back for minor stuff, but most of the stuff that he will give us uh, will be sort of sold out. Sanity bar raised again, and you go through the entire process yet again, but you're still in uh, the abnormal state. So. At least continuing battles like this sort of put you at, uh, um, I guess, at a, at a, I wouldn't say advantage, but uh, makes things pretty much what you would expect for sort of the end game. just going to pick up the last of his starry honey wine just in case we want it. Uh, and whatever 
he has left is either training materials or potions. Neither of which we don't really need. Uh, okay. Like I said, you can sort of reach the altar here and reset the monsters and do it all over again uh, as needed. But for now, we have the materials needed to up our Milos bottles. So let's go pay the grave digger yet another visit and see what, uh, what the next level has in store for us. Mr. Gravedigger, we're filled with obsession. Those who chase after obsession can end the conspiracy of light and darkness only when buried in the ground. Yeah, can I do it without being buried in the ground? Please? Right. Fill Milos for... We should have both of those now. Ah, greedy obsession. We were all blinded by it. You tell me. All right, so can we do it again? Those who chase after obsession can end the conspiracy of light and darkness only when buried in the ground. I'm sure he's gonna uh, condense honey and 90. I figured that would be the case. I guess he didn't really have much to say about that one. All right, so we're down, we're up to. Your obsession seems to be stronger. Don't forget, I'll always be here waiting for you on the day you're ready to step into this graveyard. Uh, absolutely. 120 anthrosium bones. I know I don't have that. Insufficient material. All right. So we can leave. So what's our Milos bottle showing now? Oh, we unequipped it. We'll fix that. So pretty good attack, crit, damage, and crit rate. Uh, and I imagine those stats are only just going to get higher as we continue to level it up. So maybe I'll do a little bit more of that. And then maybe we can actually get into that tower door before we end this episode. All right, I think we've dilly-dallied enough. So let's make our way back to the tower and get into the last area. Um, as we're on our way, there's two final notes uh, after all the stuff I've tried to sort of research and find out. Uh, first being for the uh, Milos bottle, it does take condensed honey as you saw earlier in the episode. Condensed honey is only dropped from bosses that you've engaged in uh, lunatic mode and because I have not uh, engaged a couple of them as such, uh, I'm not going to get the full 
the full level Milos bottle, which is unfortunate. Um, and then the second point I wanted to make was for the uh, f from the Dark Mist, uh, the Siffler that is selling items, you want the Dream Chests because they will provide, um, what are they? they are the trophies. Uh, do we take this all the way up? Down? No, we went down this way. Let's take the elevator. way um, they provide um, trophies. Uh, they're not anything that you can alter, uh, expand, or enhance, or anything. Uh, but they'll come in plus one, like um, trophy plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five. Um, they most of the Stats are fairly decent on it, and you'll get some gold text that relates to the Milos bottle and whether you're in a state of um, uh, abnormal state, that's what it is. Um, so, like, I mean, it's beneficial to pick up those trophies and have the Milos bottle, and then you, you're pretty powerful. So, here's the door. Enter the door. I think we will. I guess that key that Anita gave us worked. Let's see if we can get into, I know this episode is running a little long already, but I wanted to see if we can get a good portion into this level because that way um, we can just navigate the rest of it for the next episode and then fight off the final boss. But here's Glenn. Oh, okay, so he'll take us right back to the carriage from here if we want it, which right now we do not. Uh, so let's see. Spiral staircase heading down. Finally, we get here. And then what? Another set of damn stairs? Sometimes I really appreciate how methodical their pursuit really is. You can also appreciate the fact that you have wings. But who's splitting hairs here? Uh, so we'll need to go in there, I believe. Oh wait, there's more stairs going down. Okay, well, uh, all right. I'm just trying to remember what all this. I think we have some. It's far worse than I expected here. Hopefully, we didn't make the wrong choice this time. Well, this will. Uh, we'll get the altar set at least. It gives us a resting place should we need it. We'll sort of investigate, hopefully, a little bit quickly here. All right, these guys with their blowy up heads. All right, okay. <laughs> as long as we're not in range when they explode, then everything should be fine. <sighs> I think that's our end objective, all the way over there. It's the glowing heads again. It's getting quite annoying. It is. They're darn glowy heads. What do you do? What do you do? What do, you do? <laughs> Camera's sort of in my way.
<laughs> First boss. Stab him. No. Diamonds, that'll come in handy. He didn't drop a condensed honey. I don't think he would have either. <laughs> it's not like I was expecting him to. Uh, okay, what's over here? Let's see. Let me see if we can get. Oh, at least we got another altar. you right now. And again, I can't open the door, but the switch is right there. It's not like I can't reach out and just grab it. Ugh, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, we got a, another expansive area to explore here. Uh, I think, does this just loop around? I can't remember. Uh, we do not want to go down that way. Trying to explore where where we would need to go, and there may be some secrets about that require us to drop down. But for now, not quite there yet. Uh, those are spider webs. He's about to get creeped out. Anyway, we're still investigating the cave. Um, who's hissing? shot in the back there. <laughs> that was quite handy. Almost looked like a pickable pick upable item, but it was not. Here. No. Nope. Nothing to go down that way with. Uh, let's go up. More glowy heads. Boom! Oh, they're gonna smash me. Okay. Boom. There, you feel happy about it? When I, uh, I get full rage and then I have to use a move that sort of eats some of it away. I'll get there eventually. Uh, okay, so was this the bottom of the stairs? I know that there was a bottom section. I have a feeling it's yes. If we go up here, this will just take us back to... Going that way. Can't navigate around the wall. 
wall. Uh, okay. Uh, who's making that creaky, creaky noises? Don't you dare touch it. hear the part where Viola told him or said Eckhart, so we know exactly who it is. And we'll also deal with Norwood. Uh, okay, so anything this way? Nope. Enter the prison. This red line. It possibly could be. Oh, that red light. Gotcha. Sleep again. I have to rescue you more times than Princess Peach. Uh, okay. Well, we're not in Kansas anymore, apparently. on someone your own size.
just get rid of this thing. Doing that for the last five minutes. Well, there's a face to wake up to. I thought for sure you wouldn't be coming back. It's me. Terrence, I... Yeah, I know. Where's my wife? Tell me, where's Teresa? Norwood's taken her to the ruins near a cave. Near a cave or near the cave? Either way, Norwood's taken her. I've never heard about a place like that being under the Blessed Land. No? Well, first time for everything, I guess. It used to be a dungeon at the church where they locked up the prisoners they want to get rid of in secret. But I'm sure you were interested in the other side of the story. Well, there's always two sides to a story. Why is that? Why? Many years ago, the colossal grave was accidentally opened by the church. After that, it was sealed up by the proxy. Of course, as you've seen with your very own eyes, people were still carrying out experiments here. Sick bastards. So you were aware of this from the very start? Keeping secrets from us, eh, Viola? Norwood has always been a closed book about this and kept things to himself. I didn't know I was being taken advantage of. How come you didn't tell us about your father before? You know, stuff. If I did, Eckhart would have killed him. Well, he's probably dead anyway. Eckhart, I've met him in Blessed Land. You would have met him in Blessed Land too if I picked you as a companion. He is the master of no wood. He is said to be the oldest overseer, witness three proxies of the church, including Higgins. I was a church knight by then. I don't know why I don't remember him. My memory's just that bad. In such situation, what do you think makes him survive so long? I don't know. Keep it fit, good health, eating right. So you were just being manipulated? Duh. In light of what Norwood has done, there isn't much time left for my father. Or anyone else for that matter. Regarding his whereabouts, any ideas? Uh, deeper into the level, I would assume. I only know that he's always been imprisoned here, and I have to find him. Dead or alive. I know very well that you're looking for Teresa, so you know how I feel. I'm sorry, but my hands are tied this time. Well, they were. I freed you. Just go. I'll handle this. I don't need your help anymore. Thank you, Terrence. I pray you find Teresa and finally leave this damned place. I just got started. Well, apparently I can leave this damn place. <laughs> Alright, and uh, like I said, I know this is running quite long so we'll leave it here since we're reunited with Teresa yet again or sorry Viola <laughs> Teresa's later I think anyway um, yeah we'll call it for this episode we'll pick it right back up uh, for the next episode but if you are enjoying everything that Pascal's wager has to offer uh, remember to hit that like button leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel for more Pascal's Wager. Get pretty close to the end here. So, yeah. Exciting stuff. Uh, this has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.